though. Gave it across to men and out in front. Parrish will get this. The next 12 months, he'll end up key position. He's a 191 centimetres already, a boy from up in the Wimmera of Country Victoria. Yes. Moved down to Ballarat for, uh, for his schooling and for his football and uh, love the way he goes about it. And he's just so versatile for down the track. He can play, play as that tall midfielder. Yeah. A couple of big names involved there. Bailey Rice, beautiful pass to Josh Shackey, who's had an absolutely outstanding carnal, as Britton mentioned, at the top of this game. You've watched his, kick, his kicking style here, boys. It's very relaxed. His left leg comes across his body as he makes contact. But uh, fantastic fluent action here. He's 199 centimetres. And it is a good drop. Look at that. Look at that. Yep. Shackey! Well, there'll be a lot of people watching around the country. They've seen everything he does, and he gets better and better as we watch him. He makes it look easy. 24th goal that he's kicked yeah. in the six games of this championship, and uh, he's as good a Rice. technician as, as we've seen, to be quite honest with his kicking. Yeah. For a boy of that size, that six foot six, six foot seven, 199 centimetres, there, there's no one better than that with such a relaxed, as Sando described, uh, walk in, drop of the ball, follow through. It's all perfect. It's a simple skill sometimes. We've seen uh, probably four or five players have a shot for goal from that same pocket in the previous game. And Not no. So, yeah, there's a bit of pedigree there. And kick 48 for Brisbane in the uh, oh, AFL. Oh, here he is again. Won the goal kicker. He might get it back here. He here. Test him out now. 199 out to the middle of the ground. And then drives it long. Over the back it goes. Shaky gets there first. Gives it off. Give it off nicely there to Wiedering. But Wiedering's kick is to the left-hand side. Oh. Gave it over to Simpkin. Good hands by Vic Country. His kick across the face. Falls onto the chest of Shackey. It's a tight angle. He thought about going to Weedering. Should have. Should have? Would have thought, yeah, on that occasion. So this, what are those pickers? No, I look, I'm confident he'll kick it. He's a beautiful kick. He's going to go around the body this time. Yeah, looks like he's going to just gonna come step out a couple outside, of steps. Yep. And he's always going to do it too far, wasn't he? Yep. I've liked Jai Simpkin. Down at ground level, crumb ball to be won. Shaki comes through. The fitness test prior to this game commencing in the 40 minutes before as to whether he... It's wrapped up beautifully by Watson, but the ball comes out. And an important period here for WA because country sort of stepped it up. And Shaki's in support. Little underground handball. Mutima back to Shaki. Got a call inside, got it from Berry. He'll play on. And he'll go have a ping here. He gets inside 50. Jared Berry for a goal. As mm. soon as he hit it, he knew it was good. Watson did okay, but he's under some pressure for the tackle. Simpkin lurking for Victoria. Shaki got it back. Uh, halfway, half time of the first game. And, you know, well, obviously, Nat Fife's the flavour of the month at the moment because he's such a great player. And he's, he's going to win the Brownlow by a street. It's time he found his target. It's Tucker to Shaki. And good kick from Carnival. You'd have to say that I mean, as, we, as we wind down. And I think there was a bit of negativity around the not being a very big pull. And you see this sort of stuff and this sort of player. And I think the recruiters are pretty excited, to be fair. Yeah, we haven't had a group of big blokes. Slipped it over beautifully to Parrish. Parrish from outside 50. Wobbles it forward. Not a great kick. But here's Shackey. One way. The other. On the left. Oh, he just took the wrong side of the post. It looked well to get it over towards... Johnston, again Matheson, good vision from him, into the pocket, finds his man, and that man is Shaki. Seventh disposal already for Matheson. He's yep. been really busy through, uh, through Vic Country's midfield, as Mick Ablett said before downstairs. He's almost the fire starter for them. He's been great in every game, the way that they've got away to these quick starts. And Matheson and Rice getting plenty of it. Rice in the back half and Matheson through the middle. But here's Shaki for Victoria's third goal. Tight angle, distance won't be a problem. Here's a good kick, and he makes no mistake there. Goal umpire didn't move. Beautiful finish from Josh Shackey. Third goal, Victoria. It's hard not to be impressed by this young man. Yes, and we mentioned his father before, so he actually won the goal kicking for Brisbane. Yeah, he did, he yeah. kicked 48 goals to win it, um, well, back in the 90s. Would have been the early 90s. Yep. Uh, and then, uh, of course, this young fellow is... Uh, He's uh, from Seymour in country Victoria, so he plays for the Murray Bush Rangers. Their base is way up in Wangaratta, so we'd only get to the main training session probably once a week. So there's lots of scope for improvement in this young guy, I think, when in a league club environment. He's been a star of this championship. That's his 18th guy. Pushing forward again, again, Victoria, this time through Matthew Johnston, and that's a good mark, Shaki. The man we're speaking about on cue. Matty, I should, I should just point out, as 
as uh, Shifter explained before about the rules of the championships, this is what we are trying to see more of, and that's one-on-one -on -one contests. It's much easier for AFL clubs to evaluate talent without a flood, so yeah. without, without players rolling back. If this was an AFL game now, the South Australian coach would put a player behind the ball and make Shaki go in a 2v1, but the clubs want to see players in natural uh, talent environments, and here's an opportunity for, for, for the clubs to better assess exactly where that talent comes from. And it's just so easy with that kicking. It's a beautiful leg, isn't it? So relaxed. Straight through. And that was even better than the last one. The angle was a little bit easier for them, for him. But here we see he's caught behind here, just in front of um, Westhoff's doing the right thing. But Westhoff hasn't got body on body. And then Shaky just reads it better, reads it quicker. Just too strong in the air. Yeah. yeah. But he moved first, as all good forwards do. Yeah, and the academy boys get a couple of weeks training at AFL club level. I remember a report from Collingwood after yep. he trained there that he was not out of place. We're talking January. Playing for Vic Country at under-16 level. And we're now two years on from that. It's been a remarkable growth that he's had in the game. He's had a big impact here already. Well, talk about big impacts. We had McKay get the first one. McKay sort of a, as the centre-half forward into the full forward in Shanky. And as Brenton mentioned, it's the dominance of these forwards. And Shanky, well, he's kicked two beautiful goals from an angle and distance. This will be a soda from directly in front. He's got three. He's well on his way to his best afternoon in the championships. And Vic Country well on their way to a big victory. Yeah, it'd be nice to see. I know Mick Abbott called it before. It'd be nice to see potentially uh, Aaron Francis be thrown down back now. Uh, he, he has played most of his senior football this year for West Adelaide as a defender. Uh, it'd be nice to see if he could contain one of these two big uh, tall targets down there for Vic Country. And Aaron Francis, try to think about, uh, he's the redhead that you'll see in here at the centre bounce, so he's been thrown around everywhere at the minute. I see him as a young uh, Matthew Pavlik uh, in terms of body shape and type. And if you go back to Pavlik at 18, he did, uh, he was a star at 18 in these championships, but he, he was not very competitive in this championship. The not, big Andre the Giant. Not to be confused with the other famous Perella, of course, who was a lawn bowler <laughs> slash taxi right. driver for Australia Bobby and Rob Perella. Here's Shaggy once again. And again, it's the tall forwards. Although Ainsworth isn't that tall, he's just clever, he's just strong. Uh, that's a very clever mark in the situation. Ooh, bad Ooh. kick. Bad kick, though, and it came from Agostino. So, all his good work undone, and you don't want to give it to this man. Shaky. I don't like that much as a defender, do you, Sando? I mean, you played across half back throughout your whole career, and you've got the big job on this bloke and you've done okay in the second quarter and all of a sudden right. your old mate teammates just gone cop this on the chest yeah. have a go yeah. and he's having a little dust up behind uh, play here too Aaron francis he's a little <laughs> bit fired up by that so shaki for number four he's a good kick isn't it a relaxed action yeah. Yeah. it's a beautiful kicking action it's just a pleasure to watch and he gets his fourth and he gets a bit of breathing space for vic country they're out to a goal lead courtesy of that error i'm sure they won't uh, let him forget here's the kick across goal it doesn't come any well, worse than that. You can see where Francis is. He's actually pointing. So <laughs> use your brains. Think about what you're trying to do. It. And look at this action. You're right, Sandra. That is a, just a lovely action. As a, as a you know, for a set shot and goal for a big bloke. That's just as smooth as it gets. Yeah. Four goals out of six for Josh Shackey. His kick again missed his target. Mm, Parrish and Parrish has got good vision and Francis is going to pay. Shaky oh, thinks about it. Kick, kick. kick the goal, Josh. <laughs> you're a full forward. Everybody around the country is watching. Five looks better than four. My word, it does. You've got every recruiter in the country here. Exactly. And the ones that aren't here are uh, sitting at home watching it on television. And that was unfortunately one of Francis' mistakes that's caused this. His yeah, kicking's let him down a couple of times. He's got his head down behind play here, Aaron Francis, but he did everything right in that contest. Yeah. He actually read it better than Shaki and created a 2v1 for South Australia. It's a handful for Shaki, five goals, and we're just after half time. Two goal lead now to Victoria. He's the lone man up forward doing the job. And of course, we saw Steel Sidebottom kick 10 yes. at any hand, didn't we? We did, and that was in the uh, TAC Cup Grand Final. Yep. And he got five with his right and five with his left, Matty, and you and I didn't... We, you know, we knew he was a good player, uh. but we did comment that very rarely we'd seen a, a complete game like Steel Sidebottom put together that night. And from memory, 34 disposals with oh, his yeah. 10. It was, it was a, a really pretty handy game. Yeah, the best underage game I think we'd ever seen yeah, at I, that I, stage. I don't think I'd ever seen a better complete. game than that, I must say. I think Tommy Rockcliffe kicked five in the game. Yeah, People we didn't forgot about him. him. We didn't notice him. <laughs> he kicked five. <laughs> so you think he can just get so much better. Yeah. Oh, he's got four again, Shaggy. Berry, Shaggy, 10 metres on his own. Probably this time too far out to score. This oh, time, it's the right time to give it off this time, Josh. And he finds Ainsworth. Well, he's in line. That's clever. Yeah, it was Holmes. Got it out. Shaggy. Away they go. Glenn. 
look at this. Guess who? Shacky. What I like about Shacky as much as anything is he times his lead so well. Yeah. Look, he knew exactly when to go, and it was a lovely kick to him. He just he just lost Francis a little bit. Then I was watching that behind the play, and Aaron Francis was just trying to read the ball off the boot of the of the uh, big country player who kicked it in, rather than actually getting some body onto onto Big Shacky. This for six. His kicking has been exceptional. We've mentioned it a few times, and he <laughs> hasn't looked like missing one yet. That's another wonderful leg from Joshua Shanky. Six goals for him, still six minutes before three-quarter time. An individual performance that is being noted right around the country by everybody watching. <laughs> so, Shifter, how does he compare to Paddy McCartan last year, who went number one? Is he, is he having as good a season as what uh, Paddy was? Well, Paddy had, a, well, some injuries through his 18th year. was probably even better in his 17th. So... No, performance-wise, this has been the best set of five games that I've seen, uh, like in, in living memory, to be quite honest. Really? It's a new area taken by Matthew Johnston. Outside 50, puts it out in, into the Ooh. path of Shacky. Didn't coaching, uh, from a coaching perspective or just in general, these guys just back themselves. It's a great kick. Ooh. And that's 50, by the way. That's going to be a free kick, 50. Call it what you like. It might even be a report, seven. but Shacky's going to get a shot at goal to make it number seven. Evans in late. He did lose Francis there too. Francis just slipped it behind the play and uh, Shecky got out behind the contest. Well, I'm hoping he's taking him back to the goal square. You'd think it'd be 50, sure. It's a bit reckless, yep. yeah. yeah. He's going to get away with it, is he? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> he's, yeah. he's fairly lucky. <laughs> <laughs> he's absolutely poleaxed. <laughs> I'm lucky he's got a mouth guard and he'd be needing some new ceramic teeth. Well, seven's a nice performance. Mm. This is a big stage, this one. I mean, it's game on. Basically, they win it today. Seven goals coming up. We should, shouldn't say he's already got it, but the way he's kicked today, it's been pretty to watch. 40 metres out. This time, the umpire has to move. And maybe we did moz him. Maybe that <laughs> knocked to the head. But he's been terrific. So uh, it's a margin now of 25 points. Let's get to Ben Dixon somewhere. Somewhere Got to do things right here, South Australia. They don't have a lot of time. Got to get it going. Well, I reckon you've inherited that from Dad. Yeah, oh, I suppose so. I'll just try and keep it as simple as I can. I suppose if it's simple, all Australian will go through. So that's what I'm trying to do. Keep the 23 for the carnival so far. You're obviously enjoying your footy, but uh, you had your, your worries early. You're getting a bit of physical contact down there, but, you know, stood up, had a good game. Yeah, so it's good when it gets physical, so... Start, I'm starting to like that sort of physicality, so yeah, it was good to win my boys. Paul Henriksen said we we're going to hold Shacky down deep, but didn't last long. You're up in the ruck. You like a little bit of flexibility in your play? Yeah, I like push. Metro and winning possession was uh, Morgan. It's sent inside 50 by Vic Country, deep inside attacking 50, and a strong mark taken by a man coming out there in uh, Shacky, who's got it about 45 metres out. Slight angle, a chance for him to pick up where he left off against WA with eight goals for. And the one that the, the, the boy that got the clearance there, Darren, uh, was Reese Matheson, mm -hmm. another Geelong Falcon boy who's been in fantastic form throughout the champs and this year. Uh, for the Geelong Falcons, um, and yeah, as we said, Shaki coming off eight goals last week. He got eight goals four actually, so had 12 shots from yeah. goal. Um, fantastic left foot set shot at two. From the Murray region, this one is drifting out to the right. First score of Looking the game well, yeah. is at one behind, and the get towards uh, Kovacevic. A chance now for Nguyen, who gets it back again, and Shaki's left foot kick up towards attacking 50. Good courage from players coming out from to Vic Country. Pops it up to a dangerous position, and it's going to be a free kick, I think, to Wiedering coming out on the lead, or Shacky coming out on the lead. And it's uh, about 25, 35 metres out directly in front. Just had his run taken on his way through to the footy. One of the things I like about Shacky is that he's not just a leader mark player. He can snap some goals. I guess the ability to play well on the ground, as you said before, is a very accurate left foot kick. Generally, we should see him put this one through. Uh, the son of the late Laurie Shackey, who played 29 games for the Brisbane Bears, unfortunately uh, passed away uh, when Josh was five of a rare heart condition, but he's certainly uh, following in his footsteps. Yeah, but his third kick in the early stages of the game, he makes good on his earlier miss and gets the first goal of the afternoon. So runs off half back. Feeds a hand pass longer down the wing, and now they'll build. Shacky on that left foot goes down towards attacking 50. Mark taken this time by Shacky, it was. That was McKay who McKay kicked it to who him. Yeah. delivered it to him. So Shacky goes in towards the pocket. It goes over the head of Ainsworth, who was looking for his second shot at goal. Over. But Shacky had the ball knocked away, but recovers well. Turns in board by hands. 
And now an opportunity for the running shot at goal coming through. And just the one behind, 6 4 40. And but he wouldn't want it to take. He burrows back in after it, trying to win it. Taken now by Parrish, who feeds the hand pass back. It comes to Nash Holmes now, who turns back around onto the right. Got an unguarded goal ahead, and he missed when worked into the gun. His first, of course, was a goal. First of the championships. That one down towards half forward. It's gone over the back of hands. A free kick for a push. And it's going to go the way of Vic Country and the big man Shacky at centre half forward. Looks like a young Travis Cloak. Mm -hmm. Just the big, strong body, straight leader. And left, left footer, up, obviously. Yep. Um, fantastic poise. Peters taken away now. Opportunity down towards half forward. Neat delivery and Shacky takes the mark again. He'll try to get onto that left side. Got himself into a bit of trouble but spun out of it really well. Chips towards McCut. And now working it forward. Newen up inside 50. Coming out and taking the mark on the lead. Is that man Shacky called upon by Brenton Sanderson. And now we'll get the opportunity to kick for his seconds. Yeah, it's interesting. We've seen this game and it's probably not uh, a real attractive game to watch. Like we, we talk about getting the best, the best kids in the nation together to play in the national championships. You expect it to be really highly skilled, but the pressure goes up in these games too. So, if I'm a if I'm a recruiter, if I'm a senior coach of an AFL club, I'm looking for the players that can still hit targets when the player, sorry, when the pressure still in, increases in the game. And Shaki is a nice left foot kick, and now he's got two. And the must for Vic Country to build off the wing, down towards centre half forward. It'll drop short of its intended target, but Shaky, Shaky will get there on the bounce. Sends it inside 50. Nice little short ball and an opportunity here for Holmes, who will line it up. Nash Holmes from directly in front. Take the ruck work and relieve him of those duties. But Vic Country will go forward towards Shaky again, who takes a good mark. Coming back into the game after a quiet second term. Does deliver the ball well on the left. That's no exception. Down towards McKay, who spilled a mark he should have taken. Matheson. He will continue to move it towards half forward and reading it well. Shacky takes his fourth mark of the quarter. And on the left, he'll just pop it into space. Again, the kick's reasonably well weighted. At the back, McKay will try to track onto it, paddles it into some space. The noon. And he'll go long with a nice kick up towards the wing. Shacky pushing a long way up the ground, takes the mark again. You can see his running power. He runs at 15 B. You can just see he works over his opponents so well. He's the full package, Shaki. He can do everything. Mitchell for the match. Kovacevic tries to guide it down, but it was taken out of there by Brody. Squeezing little ball inside 50, taken by Johnston. It goes with a banana. Hasn't quite got the carry, but it's going to be marked inside the field of play. So McClarty will compete in the ruck with Shaki. Shaki ends up getting the own, getting his own football at the ground. Gave it to Tucker, trying to feed a hand pass through. Eventually did. Now. Shacky gave that hand pass back. The kick goes towards and finds Holmes. Who mark about 80 metres around from Vic Country's goal. 16 minutes last term. They lead by 36 points. Nab Rising Stars under 18s live and exclusive on afl.com.au. Shacky tries to guide it down. Some tired legs at this stage. Matheson might have got. He'll now just kick it down the line towards centre half forward. McClarty's there at the back. It was Houston who couldn't impact the contest early enough, and the mark taken by Shaki, who went back into defence. He'll chip it, and a good grab here by Mitchell Cox. Are you pushing for that top five spot? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I've got a bit of man love for the big Shaq, pal. He's, uh, he's 199 centimetres and 96 kilos, a boy from the Murray Bush Rangers and Seymour Footy Club. He put the footy world on notice on the weekend to, uh, to really where he fits amongst the, uh, probably the top 10, I would have thought, at the minute. 24 disposals, 7 marks and 8 goals, like you say. Pushed up through the middle of the ground, did a little bit of ruck work. He's a 14-1 beat. That puts him amongst the best. Comparative to the medium forwards at, um, at last year's National Draft Combine. So, a Travis Cloak type. Uh, he's a beautiful set shot of the footy, this kid. He reminds you a lot of, of Matty Lloyd in how straight and neat he is in that regard.